What's up dudes and dudettes? Nice to see you out here doing something different. We're out here in the patio. Not really the patio, the backyard. And I am going, it's Wednesday, so we're gonna do some wing Wednesdays. But the thing I have a problem with the short form is I don't really get to explain a lot about my cooks, how I break down my flavors, my techniques, and honestly, sometimes I feel rushed. So I thought I'd start doing some shorter videos. Would love everybody to like and subscribe and follow along. We also got live shows, podcasts, a lot of barbecue names, a lot of fun content. But just happy to do this simple Wing Wednesday here tonight with you. Let's get to it. Let's go. Take a jumbo chicken wing here. We got these marinated in a mango jerk marinade. I found at Rural King for like three, four bucks. Real simple on these. Just go right down the line, find the joint. And you want a nice knife, little backbone here, something you can get behind. And then these right here, same thing. And just like that, you got two wings. Let's cut the rest of these up and throw them on the smoker with our seasoning. Put our wings back in the Cambro here to give them another quick flash of flavor from the mango jerk marinade. And we're gonna hit them up with one of these new seasonings I haven't got to play with yet today. The winner is Troubadour Spice Blends. Pop and Smoke out of New Hampshire. He does everything right there at his house in the facility. So everything is small batch, really nice quality. Really good stuff, some really cool flavors. He's a troubadour, so he's traveled the world, but do enjoy this stuff here overall as a lineup, so hopefully this will be here good too. Take your wing. This stuff's kind of chunky, so I'm gonna hit it with a little dusting, and then a little bit of chunk, some of the pepper flakes in there, because again, this stuff is a really small batch, a lot of texture on there, but I'm gonna put these with the pepper side up so it soaks up the moisture as it cooks here on the Z grill. Got the Z grill set at 325. I like 325 on the Z grill or 300, especially on chicken. It really seems to do a good job of crisping up that chicken skin. These are gonna be hot, hot, hot. But that's okay, that's kinda of what I'm going for. I am doing a pellet grill on this cook. Um, I really like that on chicken and pork because you're kind of going for flavors with your seasonings. So with that, I do use some nice pellets here. And on these, I've been with Bear Mountain Barbecue. A lot of good flavors. I've never really seemed to clog up any of my stuff. Not a lot of sawdust, as you can see. Nice, clean pellets. And that was at the bottom of the bag up here on top. So you can imagine what the stuff is down below. It's been about 15 minutes. Let's take a look. Now the seasonings have set in, we are gonna flip these, but first let's take a look at where we're right on the tip. And actually these ones here on the end, just need crisped up on the other side and they'll be good to go. But you gotta find your hot spots on the Z grill. As you can see on that side there, it's higher than that. So we're gonna flip these over to this side. We're gonna flip these and put them back over here. All out. Let me show you a little mistake I made here. When you get off the deflector plate, see right here you have a gap. Well, when you put your chicken outside that deflector plate, you will get some crispy ones. Don't worry, they'll still lead all right, but you only lost a couple. Just a little tip as I go along here. It's starting to get dark, but so is that chicken skin. I know we got a couple of those bad ones. Don't judge me on those. These are absolutely funny. We're right in the same area we want to be, below 200 or right out there so we can fall off the boat. And just like that, we pulled them. We're going to let them rest. And as we do that, we're going to melt some shredded Parmesan Regano. Thanks, Johnsy, for leaving us at my house from the re uh, meetup a couple weeks ago. The reason I'm adding this, the bitterness is going to hopefully offset some of the spices on this because these wings are going to be tangy. Thank you everybody for tuning in on the first of what I hope is a lot of these. Sorry if I got a little wordy. Sorry if you got a little bored. But hey, I didn't have to do a 60 second video so I got to talk a little bit and explain the process. Let's get into these here. Look amazing. Smell good. Again, they're going to be spicy. Ooh, those are still hot. Let's do a drum. Oh man, that was too hot. Yeah, that one's not as bad. Clean. 
clean the bite off the bone. That's how you want it. Still add some juice in there. Then there's that heat. Yikes. Mm. But not overly heaty. Nice controlled bite. Obviously, if you don't have a palate for much spicy, probably not a recommendation for you. They charred up a lot from the marinade I use. So I'm going to give my technique out of 10. I want to give myself like a 7.3 on this tonight. Definitely could use some room for improvement. Flavor profile, I want to give these, I want to give these an eight, eight and a half. A little spicy, wish I'd have a little bit of a sweet to offset these. Uh, but the cheese at the last second gave me a little balance of flavor there. Uh, but yeah, so overall, not too bad. Thank you all. Wing Wednesday was a hit. I want to get back to eating these and we'll see you next time.